Okay, so tutorial number two, uh, we'll go over the different uh, steps to go through in order to add products to your website so that uh, customers can browse through your catalog and uh, purchase your products. Uh, so we'll go over the steps to add new products to your website and then once we do that we'll also go over the steps to edit details of the products for your website so uh, instances where you have a sale maybe for Christmas or maybe the prices go up you want to bump up your price as well uh, that will be the second part of the tutorial that will go over modifying the details uh, the owner of this website has uh, been granted permission to use the details from the supplier's website. So, uh, as a disclaimer, Full Web Solutions does not infringe on any copyright uh, uh, copyright properties. Uh, the owner does have permission to use the information from the supplier's website which you can see over here okay so in this example we'll go over adding this product from the supplier's website to this website so the first thing you want to do is go to the left menu products and then you click on add new So the add new product page will come up uh, very basic here you want to fill fill these fields in order to upload the product so we'll start off with the title of the product so we'll uh, we can just simply copy this here Second thing we need is we need the image of the product. So you can simply right click, save the image. save and then you can go back to your website and just add the product from here so now that the product is added the picture you can also add the description so you can copy this go back to your website and that you would add under the product short description and then on the far right you would uh, select the category that this falls under so right now we have two categories but this can be changed as well uh, so we'll click on hair products category and that's about it so all we go do now is hit on publish and the product has been published now if you click on view product you get to see the front end of the product so you can see over here product shows up 
notice uh, how the pricing is not showing up it's because we did not add the pricing so what we'll do is we'll edit the product again and we'll add some more information so if you click on edit product on the top do not go on the edit with ux builder that's more of a designer function if you just click on the edit edit product on the top So we'll come back to that page in the back end for the product and we'll add the price. So we'll say the price is 15 bucks, but it's on sale for 14 bucks as an example. And then we'll update the product. Now, if you go to the product front end, because we added the price, we added the price of $14 on sale, regular 15, it shows you as 15 crossed out with 14 going there. And because the price has been listed, people can either buy with their Google Pay account, which is set up on their phone, or they can just add it to cart and uh, check out. So we'll go through the step and show you the flow of the checkout process. So click on add cart. As soon as you do that, you'll see the cart pop up here. You click on checkout. And when you click on checkout, you can fill in your credit card number and place the order. Again, this is the front end, front end of the website because we just added that product. Now that product will, if you go to the shop products page, this is the product that we just added. These products were added before. So this is the new product that we just added. So it shows you uh, that it's here. So the shop page is what displays all your products on the store. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll go back to that product and we will edit something for it. Uh, let's say make it you know out of stock. We'll make it out of stock so that it's not available for sale. So again, we'll click on edit product. On the product data inventory, if you click on that, you can say stock status, you can say out of stock, out of stock. Then we can update that. And now if you view the product, product pricing is there but it says out of stock. It doesn't have the buy now button. So that in an essence is how to add a product and edit a product for your store. This marks the end of the tutorial. Thank you.